Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out with GB Performance Director and also professional trainer, former world title challenger as well as a pro, Robert McCracken. We list all your accolades we be here all day, but how are you doing? Yeah, I'm okay, thanks. All good. Good to see you. We've just had the announcement, obviously, of the GB squad for the first qualifier for the Olympics, the European qualifier, take place in London in March. A couple of minor surprises in the selection. Just want to kind of quiz you about those, first of all, if that's all right. Um, Caroline Dubois, um, unbeaten as a junior, um, internationally medalled on many occasions also. Never had a senior bout and she's going to be the rep at um, 60. Just tell us the thinking behind that and, and how she beat out the other girls. Yeah, I think that it's a GB boxing, it's who the coaches and, and myself think is the best boxer available at that weight at the time. Caroline's been in and around on, on development programs and she was on podium potential as well so she's been in and around a while now um, not, not as long as the others that have been selected obviously but um, she's impressed enough she, you know, she's won a variety of titles as, as a youth and a junior she's very talented and she did really well in, in the training camps here and certainly in the Colorado training camp with the Americans and you know you have world medalists there and stuff so um, you know when, when we select teams we select who we think is the best boxer available at that time and at the moment, the coaches and, and I agree that Caroline Dubois was the best 60 kilo boxer available at the time. Obviously, she's young and it's and it's you know it's it's an Olympic qualifier and it's a big jump, but it's one we think she's more than capable of handling. As the person presumably who tells the people they've been selected or not, it must be amazing to tell them they have made the trip. How hard is it to break the news to the ones who didn't quite get there? You know, it's 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 not great, but at the same time, you've got to do it in a positive way because some of them have have, have nearly got there. It's very close, and in, and in cases they're the, they're the they're the reserve boxer. If anything goes wrong with a boxer that's going to London, an injury or an illness, then they'll they'll be expected to box and participate. Or if they don't qualify. Well, exactly, and certainly if they don't qualify, then it, it goes. You know, selections open again for the second qualifier in Paris in May. So there's all, everything to play for for the boxers at, at GB Boxing. If you're not selected for a tournament, certainly an Olympic qualifier, you want to try and make sure you're selected for the next one. And they've got opportunities to create that by being given tournaments to go to and, and you know, titles to achieve in, in the meantime. Was any consideration given to Demi Jade Reston stepping up potentially to the Olympic weight? Yeah, lots of uh, consideration, but Demi's been poorly, she's been ill since the World Championships where she did really well winning a medal out there. Yeah, she did fantastically well in Russia and um, you know she's got a good bright future but she's had an illness she's she, you know it stayed with her for a while the medical team are happy now she can get back into full training she's only just started back into full training not last week the week before so um, she's understanding she knows you know she that's the first thing she's got to conquer is, is you know getting back to full fitness and, and getting up and running again but there'll be opportunities for Demi and certainly she's been unlucky with the illness but she can press her claims for, for selection for the second qualifier if obviously the box is selected doesn't Qualifying. How does the training alter, if at all, between now and the qualifier? Do you step up the pace? How does it work? Well, what happens is we've just got back from Kazakhstan with the men. There's a training camp in Kazakhstan, minus 20, minus 25 degrees, so it's pretty cold. But the Kazakhs are extremely... Getting used to London in March. Well, yeah, the Kazakhs are extremely strong. We have yeah, their top four males at each weight there, so it was a real tough camp for our boxers. We did gym bouts there as well, which is the same as going to a tournament. you just not got the crowd there. But, you know, it was very tough. Great, great, great... Um, training for them and then the females had been to Colorado in January and that was a really important camp because there was gym bouts there as well and also pressing their claims for selection for the first qualifier so men and women are in good shape both had gym bouts at training camps and certainly will look to, to replicate that in the in the, the last week in February and the first week in March we'll, we'll have at least eight countries coming over here with strong men and strong females that you know we can get them in tip-top shape going into the qualifier.